How's it going guys? It's currently half five, Thursday morning. Europa League game versus Jablonek is on tonight. I'm on my way to the airport now, head to Glasgow. It's the first time Celtic Park has been given permission for full capacity since March 2020. It's over 500 odd days without a full capacity stadium, so it's gonna be fucking mental. I can't wait for it, honestly. Yeah, it'll also be the first time I actually get used my season ticket, you know, like properly instead of like the printout tickets that they usually give you, you know, because the ballots were going on. But now it's back full capacity, you know, <laughs> this bit of plastic's actually going to be useful. <laughs> Let's go. Currently half 11 here in Glasgow, so I'm just off the flight. I got a bus in the city centre here now. That's the Clyde, and uh, yeah, I'm walking my way down to uh, Brazen Head now. Uh, luckily this time I've got jeans on, so hopefully it should be no trouble. But uh, yeah, it should be a fucking good day. Good atmosphere in here usually is. You know, there's nothing to complain about. Be looking forward to it anyway. Let's go.
was the day after the game. I just back off the train from Glasgow. It took me seven and a half hours to get back to London. Um, so yeah, let's do a little match review. The atmosphere was fucking electric. Brilliant. I can't, honestly, honestly, I can't describe it. You just, if you were there, you know what it's like. It was, it was just amazing. Like, honestly, I'm looking back at the videos that I have on my phone now. Uh, 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 just non-stop, non-stop singing, fucking chanting, shouting, whatever. Wasn't quiet for a minute. Wasn't quiet for a fucking minute. The players, play, the, the boys were class. The boys were fucking class. Again, now that's three wins on a trot. We, we, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. The team looked like they want to play. The team looked like they're, they're building a bond together, a relationship together. That, 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 that they can go out there, they can take on anyone, and they can fucking get the results that we need. It's fucking great to see. Massive change from the last 18 months. Joe Hart, right? That man pulled off a good few couple saves there last night, you know? And everyone was saying, oh, why, why did we get him, you know? He's finished. Forget about him. He's gone. He's out the window. He's out the door, you know? He's just looking for a payday. So, no, because he could have sat at Tottenham and he could have got his fucking payday there, sat on the books with them, right? But no, he came to play first team football and proved that he's still got something left to prove. David Turnbull, find him form again last night. Brilliant. Two goals in the bag for him. James Forrest, another one for him. Personally, that Kyogo goal, I don't think that was offside, but look, I'm not a ref, so, you know, it's up to them now. Either way, 3-0 and a clean sheet. Can't complain. My man of the match has to be David Turnbull. Just straight up. Movement around the pitch. Didn't stop. Looking for them passes to, to, to Kyogo up front, right? And Kyogo, different level of gravy he is. Different level of gravy, you know? He doesn't stop running, and I love him for that. But David Turnbull last night just, he bagged us two goals. Fair play to him. That's why he gets my man of the match. Things are looking bright for the future now. You know, the team, they want to play. They want to get the results. They're looking fierce now. They're looking fierce. I'm fucking looking forward to Sunday now. We'll get that hot game against Hearts in, in, in the Premier Sports Cup. And we'll fucking fire them out the door. Because we'll show them, look, you took a fucking weekend. An, un, an in, unconfident version of ourselves there the other week. Now we're back and we fucking mean business and we knock them cunts out the cup as well. Unfortunately, I won't be in attendance at the game on Sunday. You know, it's it's a lot of travelling for me, to be fair. But I will be back up at Glasgow soon. I will be back at Paradise and I will see the boys again. But for now, cheers.